Hi, Algebra 1. This is uh, page 81, or 181, excuse me, the homework. Problem number 1, we have 6, 3, 3, 10, and they want us to find the slope. That's it, should be a 10, sorry. Find the slope, so we're going to label x1, y1, x2, y2, and remember the slope equation is going to be this. We'll use this uh, for these three problems. So my slope is going to be 10 minus 3, 3 minus 6, 10 minus 3 is 7, 3 minus 6 is negative 3, so we have a slope of 7 thirds. Problem number 2, we have 5, negative 4, 15, 2, so x1, y1, x2, y2. It's figured out, so I have y2 minus y1 minus minus, and 15 minus 5, minus minus means plus, so 2 plus 4 is 6, 15 minus 5 is 10, and then reduce that, 2 goes in both top and bottom, so I get 3 over 5 for a slope. Number 3, I get 4, negative 3, and 2, negative 9, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. And then I'm going to say that negative 9 minus negative 3, 2 minus 4, minus minus means plus, so negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, that's going to give me 3 over 1 for a slope. Number four, we want to use point slope to figure out figure out thing. And it says use either point for our equation. So we have two comma two as one point, and we have four comma negative one. First thing I need to do is I need to find the slope. So x one y one, x two y two. Our slope is going to be negative one minus two. And then 4 minus 2, so that's going to be negative 3 over 2. That's my slope. All right, so if we wanted to plug this in to y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and we've said use either point. Well, let's do this first point to do it. So I'm going to get y minus 2 equals negative 3 over 2, x minus 2. If I chose to use this point, I'm going to get y plus 1, remember it's opposite value, same slope, x minus 4. So both of those are the correct answer, believe it or not. It's kind of crazy. Uh, if we actually solved each of those for um, y, made it y equals mx plus b, it becomes the exact same equation. Number 5, again we have negative 3 comma 2 and 5 comma 0. First thing I want to do is I want to find the slope, so x1, y1, x2, y2. Our slope equation is going to be y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So I'm going to get negative 2 over, remember minus minus means plus. So I get a slope of negative 1 fourth. I wanted to find my point slope with this one. And I'm going to plug it in. I have a positive 2 up there, so it's a negative 2. The negative 1 fourth goes in for the slope. X, I have a minus 3, so it becomes a positive 3. Or, if I chose this point, I'm going to get Y minus 0, or plus 0, equals negative 1 fourth X minus 5. Both, of the, both these equations are the same. For 6, 7, and 8, says, given the following, write an equation in point-slope form. If, two po if given two points, find the slope, then, find, then use the first point listed. Okay? So problem number 6, we have m equals negative 4, and then we have negative 3, comma, 0. I'm going to call that x1, y1. I'm going to plug it into my equation. So y minus 0 equals slope, which is negative 4 x opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Problem's done. Problem 7. We have negative 2 comma 5 and negative 4 comma 6. So let's find the slope. x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope equation is going to be y2 minus y1 over 
x2 minus x1. So remember, negative, negative means positive. So 6 minus 5 is 1. Uh, negative 4 plus 2 is going to be negative 2. So there's my slope. And then I, they said use the first point. So I'm going to use this point in our equation. So I get y. It's positive 5, so we have a negative 5 here. Slope, negative 1 half. x, it was a negative 2. Now it'll be a positive 2. Their problem's done. Number 8. That's 7 comma 10, 1 comma 8. So I have x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's find the slope. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That gives me negative 2 over negative 6. Negative over negative is positive. 2 over 6. 2 goes into both. So I get 1 over 3 is my slope. They said to use the first point to plug into this equation. So y, y1 is 10. I do the opposite, which is negative 10. 1 third is a slope. x, y, x1 is 7, so I need to put negative 7. And there's my answer. OK, I'm turning the page, going to page 182. Same directions. So number 9, they gave us a slope of 0. And then he gave us negative 3 comma 2. So that's going to be x1, y1. We're going to plug into this equation. So y minus 2. It was a positive 2. It has to be negative here. Slope is 0. x. And then I have negative 3. I'm going to plug it in as a positive 3. Hey, what's 0 times anything? Yep, 0. So then I'm just going to solve this to give me this. And this would be one of the special cases that we graph. Number 10, I have negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, negative 1. So I have x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is going to be y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So notice I have the two negative negatives. That's going to be positive. So 1 plus 3 is 2. Two negatives. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So I wind up getting a slope of negative 1. OK, you can keep it as a fraction if you want. And I'm going to plug into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It said use the first point, so I'm going to use that one. So my y value is negative 3, so I plug it in and it becomes opposite. And I get negative 1. My x1 is a negative 1, so if I plug it in, it becomes positive. Change the signs. There's my answer. Number 11. This looks a little bit different. So let's just clarify what this means. This means the point 1, 3. This means the point 3, 4. So call it x1, y1, x2, y2. Find the slope first. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's going to be 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. And then we use this first point to plug it in to our point slope. So y, it's a positive 3 here, so it'll be a negative 3 here. The slope is 1. x1 is a positive 1, so it'll be a negative 1 down here. There's my answer. For 12, 13, and 14, uh, we want to convert from point slope to slope intercept. So that means the y equals mx plus b. So number 12, we have a slope of negative 1, and we have 5 comma 0. So this is x1, y1. So let's plug that into my equation. So y, plug 0 in. So you can keep it minus 0 if you want. Slope is negative 1. X, it's a positive 5, so it'll be a negative 5 down here. All right, let's clean it up. Y minus 0 is just Y. And then I'm going to distribute negative 1 over the parentheses, so I get negative 1X plus 5. And that's my slope intercept form. Number 13, I get 2 comma negative 5. 4 comma 3. 
I'm going to call that x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's find the slope first. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I get 8 over 2, so I have a slope of 4 because 8 over 2 reduces to that. I'm going to use my first point to plug it into point slope. So y, it's a negative 5 here, so it's going to be a positive 5 down here. It's a positive 2 here, so it'll be a negative 2 here. Now we want to convert, that's point slope, so let's convert it. Distribute over the parentheses. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Subtract 5 from both sides. So negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. So this is our equation in slope-intercept form. Number 14, they gave us the slope and they gave us the point slope. So I'm going to call this x1, y1. Plug into my point slope equation. Okay, so first thing, this was a negative 4, so it'll be a positive 4 here. Slope stays the same. This x is a, a positive, so it'll be a negative down here. Now we want to convert it to y equals mx plus b, so get y by itself. So let's distribute over the parentheses first. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times negative 8 is negative 4. Subtract 4 from both sides. Those cancel. So this is my slope intercept of that. Okay, number five. So I'm going to be on page 183. 183 in your book. I have to draw myself an xy axis. So we have two equations. We have y equals negative 2x plus 5. So let's graph this first. This is going to have a y-intercept at 0, 5, and it's going to have a slope of negative 2 over 1. So 0, 5 is up here. Put a dot. I'm going to go down 2, right 1. Let's go ahead and make my line. And then the other equation we have written is 2y plus... 4x equals negative 12. Because the x and y are on the same side, we're going to find the x and the y-intercept. So this is going to be blank, comma, 0, and 0, comma, blank. So this is a y value. It's covered with the y, so that's going to mean 4x equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 4, so I get negative 3. So negative 3 zeros here. This is an x value. So we're going to cover that up. So that means 2y equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 2. So 12, negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. So 0, negative 6 is down here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what does it appear if I draw my, drew my lines? They look like they're parallel. They don't look like they're going to cross. OK. So let's take a look at problem number one. So we need to know this. Parallel lines have equal slopes. Okay. So for problem number one, I'm going to look at A. I have negative 4, 3, and I have 1, and I have... Uh, 1, 2. So let's find the slope of that real quick. x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope equation is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So on top, that's going to give me negative 1. On bottom, the negative negative is positive. So I get a slope of this for a. Let's take a look at b. Letter b, we have the point negative 3, 0, and we have the point 1, negative 1. So I get x1, y1, x2, y2. My slope equation is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So on top, negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. On bottom, negative negative means positive, so 1 plus 3 is 4. 
So the green and the red are not parallel because the slopes are different. Let's take a look at letter C. So I have negative 3 comma negative 4. And I have 2 comma negative 5. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Let's find the slope. So I'm going to get negative 5 minus negative 4 over 2 minus negative 3. Remember that's positive. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. That's going to be positive. 2 plus 3 is 5. So that means A and C are parallel. They have the same slope. They won't cross. For problem number two, we're going to take a look at two sets of points. We have this one and this one. That's my first set. My second point set of points are going to be these two. So let's find the slope of each, x1, y1. Sorry, so for number two, we have two sets of points. Let's find the slope of this first one, x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope is going to be negative 1 minus 3, negative 6 minus negative 5. So that's going to give me negative 4 over, that becomes plus, negative 1. So I get a slope of 4 over 1, or just 4. For my second set of points, I have 3, negative 2. and 2, negative 7, so x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's find the slope of that. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember, that's plus. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so I get negative 5 over 1, which is negative 5. Those slopes are different. These are not parallel. They are going to cross each other. Number three, we want to write an equation of line that goes to this particular point and is parallel to this equation. All right, so let's figure out what the slope of this equation would be. This is our slope, so that's two. Okay, parallel slopes are the same. I'm now going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I'm going to plug in my x1 and y1. So my y1 is negative 4, so this would be a positive 4. Slope is 2. x minus x1. x1 is 5. That's supposed to be a 5. Sorry, it's my computer scooping up. Problem number four. So we have this point and we have this equation. So we want to write the equation that's parallel to this. So I have to understand that my slope is one fourth. I call this x1, y1. I'm going to use my point slope formula. All right, y1 is two. So that's going to be negative. Slope is one fourth. X x one is negative four, so I'm going to go plus four. So this line is parallel to the given equation, and it also goes to the point that's given. Go ahead and get over to page one eighty four. So let's take a look at. Our two equations, the first one is y equals 1 half x plus 5. So I have a y-intercept at 0, 5 and a slope of 1 half. 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to go up 1, right 2 and make my line. My other equation is 2y plus 4x equals negative 12. This is at the top of page 184. So this is going to find me, I'm going to use my cover method, so blank comma zero, zero comma blank. So that is a y value, so I'm going to get 4x equals negative 12. 
Divide both sides by 4, so I get negative 3, so negative 3, 0. I'm then going to, that's an x value, so that's going to give me 2y equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 2, so I get to negative 6, so 0, negative 6. And it looks like these two lines are going to cross each other. Now, when they cross each other, is this 90 degrees? Big question mark. Okay? So, if they do cross at 90 degrees, they are called perpendicular lines. And perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite sign and flipped over. So let's take a look down below. Number five, we have y equals 4x plus 2. We have x plus 4y equals 3. We have negative 8y minus 2x equals 16. So I want all of them to be y equals. So I know the slope of this first one is 4. I'll put it 4 over 1. The second one, I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So that's going to give me 4y equals negative x plus 3. Divide by 4. All right, so again, I'm going to get to number 5. Sorry, my computer screwed up. I had to restart it. Okay, y equals 4x plus 2. So I get a slope of 4 over 1. The second equation is x plus 4y equals 3. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So that's going to give me 4y equals negative x plus 3. Divide both sides by 4, or everything by 4. So get y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths. So the slope of this line is negative 1 fourth. And the last equation, I'll see if I can squeeze it in over here. I want to solve for y, so I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Divide everything by negative 8. These cancel. So y equals reduce that. So that's negative 1 fourth x and minus 2. So this has a slope of negative 1 fourth. Okay? So these two slopes are the same. So they are parallel. Okay? Same slopes are parallel. They're both negative 1 fourth. If I look at this slope here, this is 4 over 1. The other slopes are negative 1 over 4 for both of them. So is this a flipped over fraction of these? Yes. I flipped it over. The top becomes the bottom. The bottom becomes the top. Are they opposite sign? Is this positive and these are negative? Yes. So these are perpendicular to each other. So this is perpendicular. And this is perpendicular. It means when they cross each other, they cross at 90 degree angles. Number six, we have the point negative 3 comma 1. And we have this equation, y equals 1 half x plus 3. We want to write the equation that goes through this point, so x1 and y1, and is perpendicular. So I know my slope is this. So my perpendicular slope, perpendicular is this upside down t. That means perpendicular. So I'm going to flip over the fraction. So 1 over 2 flipped over is 2 over 1. And I'm going to change the sign. It's positive up here. It'll be negative here. Okay, so now you can plug into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Get 
Okay, it's a positive 1 here in the y, so it's going to be a negative 1 here. Negative 2 over 1 is our slope. Our x value is positive, or negative 3, so it'll be positive 3. So this equation here is perpendicular to this equation here. It also goes through this point. Number 7, we have the point given as negative 3, 5. And we have this equation given. So our slope of this line is negative 3. I'll make it negative 3 over 1. Remember the upside down t with an m next to it means perpendicular. So I want to flip the fraction over and change the sign. It's negative here, so it's positive here. This is going to be x1. This is going to be y1. I'm going to use my point slope equation. I'm going to plug it in. So I'm going to get y minus 5 equals 1 third x our x1 is negative here, so it'll be positive here. So this equation that I just boxed in is perpendicular to this other equation that I just circled in pink. It also contains the point negative 3, comma 5. So that means perpendicular lines cross always at 90 degree angles. Your homework for tonight is going to be page 185 and 186 and I think you can do all of them. Have a nice day.